Hi, everybody. Reese Davis with you, bringing you the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 pregame show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Send a volley cheer on high. The Golden Dome providing the backdrop as the Fighting Irish of Notre Dame are on the field. Warm-ups are coming to a close, and we'll see if the Irish can play like a champion today. Thanks for checking out the pregame show. NCAA College Football Action coming up next with Brad and Kirk on the call. David and I will see you at halftime. We'll see how these two teams play in this game as they prepare for the opening kickoff. And he got all of this one. Great kick. He's to the 20. Johnson returns the kick. Oklahoma's offense really centered around this quarterback. And as he goes, the team seems to go, Kirk. Brad, over the weeks, I've been watching him on film. And one thing I've seen is his ability to make good decisions. I mean, time after time, he just avoids the mistakes. And when you can do that as a quarterback and as a leader of an offense, you're going to move the football down the field. And he tackles him hard at the 33-yard line. A yard, maybe two on the carry. That's a nice play there by the sophomore out in the corner. He read the run and stepped up and made a nice tackle. He gets sacked on the play. This quarterback has to do a better job of avoiding the rush because sacks can be real drive killers. From their own 26 yard line. It's third down. Fires right side. Got his tailback. Knocked out of bounds at about the 35. That was a good pass and catch there, but still not enough for the first down. That's not an easy conversion here on third down for the offense. All the defense has to do is stay back, keep everything in front of them, come up and make a tackle. He makes it out to maybe the 36-yard line. So let's see what the offense can do as they come out onto the field. After positive yardage. That brings up second and five. Fires to his tight end. Nothing to it. Number 18 was the intended receiver on the play. That'll make it 30. From their own 40 yard line. Third down. At the 43. three yards. That'll make it fourth and two. Newsom is the punter. He's out to the 30. Gets to about the 34-yard line. Notre Dame's defense looks like it's ready to feed off this crowd all game long. It's like having an extra player out there. It sure is, Brad. They are off to a great start in that opening series. Let's see how they play here. Again, trying to just set the tone here early in this game on this next series. 
They've got to play with some focus and smarts here. They don't want to make a mistake and suddenly find themselves trailing. Throws it in a hurry. And they make the stop at the 41. And that play could have gone for six. Oh, boy, you're right. And all week long, this secondary did a lot of talking about how they were going to dominate these receivers. I think this is time that they step up and prove it on the field. Forget about talking trash. Let's see how they react after giving up that pick. Tries to pitch it, and now the ball is loose. Breaks one, and now he can work. He's at the 30. He's at the 20. He's taken down at the nine-yard line. That's exactly what this defense was looking for. Yeah, that fumble gives these guys some added life. Now let's see if they can capitalize off of it. Every drive is important in a tie game. I look for both sides to come out with some urgency. Tackle at about the seven-yard line. Gain of two on the play. That brings up second and goal. Three down, three down. Check three, check three, check three. Here we go. Oh, here we go. Oh, one for Mike. Watch one. Watch one. Set. Here they go on the draw, and they'll lose yards. No gain on the play. That makes it third and goal. Quick throw out to the receiver, incomplete. A little too much juice on that one. Yeah, this quarterback sometimes gets a little bit too excited back there and tries to put too much on it. He's got to relax and just make a good throw. Fourth down. This should be an easy field goal. Notre Dame could take the lead with this field goal. He gets it up, and he's got it. Let's go to the studio for this Reese Davis update. Minnesota and Iowa duke it out in the battle for Floyd of Rosedale. This game was so tight, every play seemed to be of the utmost importance. Minnesota gets the win, 21-14. Reese, 3-0 here. They line up to kick this one away. Nice kick, plenty of distance. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Boy, neither offense can find any kind of rhythm so far, Herbie. Yeah, it almost feels like the two offenses are just kind of feeling their way right now, allowing both these defenses just, just to dominate the game. You never like to have to play from behind, but a deficit this manageable shouldn't be in the front of their mind. They just need to go out there and play. They'll give it off here. And down he goes, right around the 28-yard line. Second and seven. Got a man. He can't complete the play. From their own 28-yard line. Third down. Scrambling around. Tackle made at the 32. That's good for a game of four yards. Fourth down. Brown is back deep to return. He's to the 40. He gets hit out of bounds. Around the 48-yard line. Well, the guys are chomping at the bit down there, waiting for the game to start back up. Notre Dame is up by three. Slings it to his tight end, but he drops it. Number 18, the intended receiver on the play. That makes it second and ten. From their own 48-yard line, it's second down. and he stops short of the line of scrimmage. That's a loss of five yards. That brings up third and 14. Down! He throws left. 
The defender had his hands on it, but it's incomplete. Brown was the intended receiver on the play. That'll make it fourth and 14. They've got 10 guys up. It looks like they're going to try to block this one. And he has it on the corner. Johnson takes it to 25. Tackle made at the 32-yard line. Notre Dame's looking awfully impressive right now in defense, but we are in the first quarter. Yeah, this is about a dominant the first quarter that we have seen in a long time. But let's see if they can continue to play this well throughout the rest of the ballgame. And while they are behind, they know they can knock things up in a heartbeat. It's way too early to change your game plan. Got some open field. And he carries the ball for a nice game. That's a game of seven on the play. That'll bring up second and three. Two down, two down. Check 59. Mike, Mike is 59. Check 17. Now he's scrambling. And they got him. Great run, and he's brought down in the backfield. Barnett is waiting for the snap. He's taken down at the 33. You talk about our meetings this week with the defensive coordinators, Kirk, and this is what they were hoping for, that they can control the line of scrimmage. Uh, these players must have been listening pretty intently because that's exactly what we've seen. These defenses have come out. They've controlled things early, trying to just set the tone. It's really going to be up to both of these offenses to try to make some adjustments and try to be able to come after them in some way. And he's taken down at the 42. Notre Dame is up a field goal. He has some room. And he is drilled at the 48-yard line. They go with the option and pick up the first down. Yeah, and that was a situation where the quarterback knew he could pick up the first down if he kept it himself. That's a good decision. Now he tries to buy some time. That's a great tackle at the 38. That's a game of 10 on the play. That brings up second and one. Okay, double tight. Double tight. Two down, two down. Set, alert, Oklahoma. Alert. Once and all, going deep. Knocked down, incomplete. Smart, heady play by that defender. That was solid, fundamental pass defense. It's third down, and this offense is about three feet away from that first down marker. They keep it on the ground, and a great tackle right there. Oh, loss of one yard on the play. That'll bring up fourth and one. Double tight, guys, double tight. They're all tied in on the line here on fourth and short. They'll bring him down at about the 39-yard line. Well, they decided to go for it, but the defense slammed the door on him. That's the definition of coming through when it matters most. You never like to have to play from behind, but a deficit this manageable shouldn't be in the front of their minds. They just need to go out there and play. And he makes it out to about the 41-yard line. the 45. I'm not even sure if this young quarterback even noticed that First both down. middle linebackers were rushing towards him. He is so poised and he knows he's got receivers who can make plays. There's a little bit of happy feet down there on the field. Let's get the call. 
false start offense. Little stumbles like these can kill your offensive progress. Still first down. So the penalty makes it first and 15. catch and he's got room here he's tackled around the 46 yard line they pick up a good six yards there well he really didn't have to do too much there to give himself a little room to make the catch he delivers keeps his eye on it makes the catch touchdown saving tackle but it leaves him with a first and goal that makes it first and goal tailback and he's met in the backfield. Second down and goal. Ball on the 11 yard line. Throws incomplete intended for his wide outs. Bennett the intended receiver on the play. This is the ninth play of this drive. And he's stopped behind the line. Fourth down. So the field goal unit is on the field. They'll try for three points. Oklahoma is down three and looking to tie it up. The kick is up, and he got it. Looks like they're ready for the kick. Sends it sailing downfield. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. And so far, it's been totally even. In close games like this, every possession is likely to matter. And that one's incomplete. The intended receiver on the play. So at the end of one quarter, and this one's knotted up at three. Welcome back. Tight game here in the second quarter as we begin play. Mike number one, Mike number one. You better be afraid of me. Set. Blue 14. Hot. 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 And they get nice yardage on that run. Gain of four on the play. That'll bring up third and six. Larry, Larry, Larry. Here we go. Oh, here we go. Oh, one for Mike. Watch out. Check, check. And he hits him hard at the 39-yard line. He makes his way to about the 48. the left for a nice game.
Penalty markers down. They took too much time. Delay of game. Offense. That penalty will move them back a bit. Yeah, down. with so many young guys out there, it's bound to happen occasionally. First and 15 now after the penalty. He's on the run. They bring the quarterback down. Boy, this pass rush is sometimes scary. They're really getting after the quarterback now. That'll make it second and long. So the sack makes this a second and long. Trying to set up a little screen, gets it to his tailback, and he's level at the 49. They pick up at the most four yards on the screen play. He executed the screen play well here by getting the ball to the halfback. They pick up some yards. They get the sack. Man, these guys can be aggressive. When you stand back there and take hits like that, you definitely are going to feel it the next day. The sack makes this a fourth and very long. Newsom awaits the snap. He's tackled at the 31. They've been like a couple of fighters feeling each other out so far. Let's see if they start to open it up a little bit more now. Got it. And he goes down quickly. The pass good for maybe seven yards. That's a good completion. They didn't get the first down, but they picked up about seven yards. He dives and he'll be marked down. Gain of eight on the play. First down. Let's go, D. Check 59. Mike. Mike is 59. Mike is 59. Gets out to around the 38. The reason why it's so crucial to be able to run effectively like this is it keeps the defense guessing. They have no idea whether you're passing or running, even if you need medium to long range yards. There's a player hurt. It doesn't look to be that bad. From the 38 yard line, first down. And they make the stop at the 28. The defense doesn't seem to have an answer right now. They might need to change up some of their schemes. He scrambled. Now he's going to run and watch out. He's taken down right around the 22 yard line. It's a game of one on the play. Too easy, too easy. That'll bring up third and four. Guys, it's game situation. Let's go. Go to the mic. That's one. That's one. Get on the throw. He caught it. Called a game of eight yards. First down. Little handoff. Tackles right around the 16-yard line. We're at play number nine of this current drive. The Sooners had one of their key guys go down earlier, but it looks like he might be able to return. The 10. He makes his way out to about the six. 
That's good for a gain of 10 yards. That'll bring up third and two. And he tackles him hard at the six yard line. So it's fourth down. They'll line up for the field goal, and this is nothing more than a chip shot. Oklahoma is looking to go up by three. He gets it up, and it is good. Even though they gave up a field goal here, that defense is feeling pretty good about themselves right now. It could have just as easily been a touchdown. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. Excellent kick. He's pushed out of bounds. Right around the 24-yard line. With one quarter down, I really haven't seen too much separation between these two squads. Might be neck and neck the whole way. And down he goes around the 32-yard line. Fights forward to about the 33. That's good for a gain of one yard. That'll make it third and one. He's on the run. Nice run there as they work the outside. made at the 49-yard line. He's gobbled up in the backfield. I think he made a late read of the defense there. Quarterback needs to be much more decisive with his option reads. They'll line it up again on third down. Taken down right around midfield. And six yards. First down. Right hand right. Right hand right. Down, two down. Inside handoff. He gets out to about the 48-yard line. That's a gain of two on the play. That makes it second and eight. Right, right, right. Two down, two down. Mike 20, Mike 20, Mike 20. He makes it to the 48-yard line. No gain on the play. Third down. Quick pass, and he's shoved out of bounds at the 38-yard line. He's at the 30. He's tackled in the open field. That makes it first and ten. Catches it, and he's looking for more. They'll bring him down to the 17-yard line. Notre Dame's going to use their first time out of the half here. You can tell he's got a lot of faith in his wide receivers. Even when he's a little bit off target, they can pull it in and make something happen. Oklahoma, Oklahoma. Now he's scrambling, tries to get around the corner. He's taken off. 
Well, that's another first down, Brad. That's the fifth first down on this drop. You know, they're, they're, this offense isn't hitting a lot of big plays, but they're very, very consistent with their execution. It's putting a lot of pressure right now on this defense. Throws to the tight end, and that ball's incomplete. This is the 14th play of this drive. They'll drop him for a loss. For a loss. A loss of four yards on the play. That makes it third and goal. Third and goal for the lead. Delivers to the halfback on the screen. And he's tackled at the four. Makes the grab. Shannon on the tackle at the four-yard line. That brings up fourth and goal. Notre Dame is looking to tie things up. There was some movement on the line. False start. Offense. It's so tough to move the ball forward. Even a five-yard setback down. can do damage to a drive. We're at the one-minute mark, first half. Kicks up, and it's through the uprights. They line up to kick this one away. Nice kick, plenty of distance. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Both offenses have played it pretty close to the best so far in this one. Yeah, and because they've been so conservative, it's made it pretty easy for both of these defenses to be pretty dominant. Let's see an offense open it up and take a few chances. This is the point in the game where you don't want to make any mistakes that give the other guys a reason to feel more confident going into halftime. Pass right, running back's got it. Brought down at the 34. Oklahoma's going to take their first time out of the half. It's second down now, and they're just a few feet away from that first down marker. He's scrambling. Diving for extra yardage. The Sooners call a timeout. That's their second of the half. First down. Tries to buy some time. He's tackled around the 47 yard line. Knight comes away with five yards on the scramble there. They come out on an empty backfield. Had his hands on it and dropped it. Quick was the intended receiver on the play. That'll make it third and five. Third and five coming up. Ball on the 47 yard line. to get out of trouble, but he can't shake the defense. Notre Dame's called their final timeout. Barnett is waiting for the snap. He fields it at the 17, and he makes it out to about the 27-yard line. You always want to go in the locker room with momentum, so as we get closer to halftime, I think we'll see more and more attempts to create big plays. Nice run, and he's brought down. We played a half of football. This one's all even at six.
We played 30 minutes. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. David Pollock and I here in the studio to break down everything that just happened in your game. Neither ground game got much going in the first half, averaging a little less than three yards per rush. David, as you look at this, uh, look, you always hear the term, get the offense behind the chain. Oh, yeah. You get them in long yardage situations. What does that do for a team? Well, it's it's so much fun. You start with a defensive line, you know it's a pass. You get to fly up field as fast as you want to. It's not third and three where you're sitting in a situation where they could run or they could pass, and there's a little bit of doubt in your mind when you're coming. You fly up field, you rush the passer. Everybody knows that the sticks are a little bit further back, so DBs can back up a little bit and play to the sticks as opposed to playing third and short situations. It makes it easier on a whole defense. David's ready to get back on that couch, get the remote, get all the games dialed up to watch what's going on around the country. Time to get you back for your second half. Brad and Kirk, ready to roll. And we welcome you back to the action here, just about set for the second half. And he got all of this one. Great kick. He's to the 20. He gets out to about the 22-yard line. You know, this offense is doing a pretty good job moving the football. The problem is they're not coming up with touchdowns. The offense coordinator who's been up here next to us, Brad, the booth next to us, he's actually just taken off his headsets, and I think he's going down to the field to be next to the quarterback and the rest of this offense to try to engage with them and realize how important it is to finish these drives. Zips it to the tight end. Knocked out of bounds around the 29-yard line. That's a game seven on the play. That'll bring up second and three. Three down, three down. Hey, Mike, 20, Mike, 20. Check, check. 36, 36. He's to the 40. He's at midfield. He's knocked out of bounds. Right around the 48-yard line. They go with the option and pick up the first down. Yeah, and that was a situation where the quarterback knew he could pick up the first down if he kept it himself. That's a good decision. defense was ready for it. Loss of two on the play. That'll bring up second and 12. It's second down, 12 to go. Ball on the 50-yard line. The Sooners had one of their key players go down earlier, but it looks like he might be able to get back in the lineup. He gets rid of this one. The defense has got some of their best pass defenders on the field. They set up in the dime to counter that five wide receiver set. Fires that quickly, incomplete. Carlisle, the intended receiver on the play. That makes it fourth and 12. At the 21 yard line. Not bad. Not bad. Time, for five yards. Time's getting a little bit tighter now. You gotta make every possession count. Complete pass and hit hard as he came down with it. Nothing going on that play. Well, here I think the quarterback needs to be a little bit more patient in the pocket. That way he can allow his receivers to get downfield a little bit before he throws it. Catches it, and he's immediately tackled behind the line. From their own 19-yard line, third down. Hand off, and he won't make it. Two-yard loss for the halfback. to return it. Right, 
They'll bring him down at the 40. A lot of times you'll see teams start to clench up a little bit when games stay close well into the second half. You need to stay loose, keep doing what you've been doing all week in practice, and execute when it's time. Quick pass, and he's right there to knock it away. That was a nice play. Anything you can do without being penalized to prevent the offense from moving forward is always a plus. From the 40-yard line, second down. On the delay, and he's brought down immediately. That took a little too long to develop. Yeah, the offense was trying to get the pass rush going upfield, but the defense did a nice job of sniffing out the draw play and hitting him in the backfield. Man left, man left. Three down, three down. Three down, three down. Hey, Mike 20, Mike 20. Here's the halfback on the screen. And they push him out at the 38. Reception. Gain of four yards. Fourth down. Fourth down. They'll line it up for a very long field goal attempt. Notre Dame could take the lead with this field goal. The kick is up, it's got the distance, and he missed it to the right. I think it says something about the quality of the preparation of both teams that we're into the third quarter and nobody's been able to pull away. Both sides seem to know what to expect. And he's going to come up with a sack. Coaches don't like it when their quarterback gets hit like that. Don't be surprised to see the old coach get on his lineman to protect the quarterback a little bit better. So the sack makes this a second and long. He makes it to the 32-yard line. receiver and he was that close to turning that into a big play Number 10 on the tackle with the 26 yard line that makes it first and 10 takes it up the middle for a nice run call it a gain of seven yards that'll bring up second and three I can't believe let you play I can't believe they even let you play. Check 59, Mike. Mike is 59. Mike is 59. 98, Weasel. 98. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, 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 oh. Tackle after a decent run up the gut. That's good for a gain of four yards. First down. I got him. Check 59, Mike. Mike is 59. Mike is 59. Check, check. Right here. Yeah, check, check. Caught with room to work. A huge play, and now they're in a great position to score. Gain of 11 yards. That makes it first and goal. And they make the stop at the two-yard line. Call it a gain of two yards. That brings up second and goal. Man, From the two-yard line, second down. Touchdown, Sooners. This is what an offensive lineman hopes for, an opportunity to impose his will on the defense. That is a clutch touchdown. Tie game, and they find a way to put it in for six. I know there's a lot of time left, but that was a big one. And he adds the extra point. Let's get the latest now from Reese Davis. Atlantic Coast Conference action in the spotlight. We've got a tight one going on here. The Demon Deacons lead 17-14. Reese, touchdown difference in this one, 13-6. Oklahoma, ready to kick this one off. He's to the 20. 
And he just got stood up right there. Oklahoma's the type of team, when you look at them, it looks like their defense sort of just feeds off itself. I think the energy is there, Brad, but I think it really starts up front with their defensive line and their linebackers. The way they're being able to just win the battle at the line of scrimmage, I think it's giving them confidence, and it's allowing them to play more downhill where they can attack this offense. Down! Blue 14! Blue 14! Gets out to about the 28-yard line. That's good for a gain of three yards. That makes it second and eight. Three down, three down. Come on, you boys. Down. Check. 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 Nice run there. Him open field. He's taken down at the 40 yard line. That's good enough for another Notre Dame. First down. Gets to about the 41 yard line. That's good for a gain of one yard. That brings up second and nine. Zips it to the back. And he's taken down at about the 43-yard line. That's a gain of two on the play. That makes it third and seven. He gets hit out of bounds at the 45-yard line. Gain of two on the play. That'll bring up fourth and five. Newsom awaits the snap. And he's taken down at the 22-yard line. The quarterback is on his way back onto the field, and he led a great drive last time out. Oklahoma up seven points. And he's shoved out of bounds at about the 27-yard line. That brings up second and five. Three down, three down. So an empty backfield with five wide receivers. And he's tackled after positive yardage. Gain of five yards. Man left, man left. First down. Three down, three down. Check 59. Mike, Mike is 59. Mike is 59. Finish him. He makes his way to about the 42. Gain of 10 yards. That makes it first and 10. Let's go! Four off the left side. And they get nice yardage on that run. That's a gain of four on the play. That makes it second and six. And down he goes, around the 36-yard line. Call a gain of 18 yards. First down. You know, at that point, I think, Brad, the quarterbacks are just better off just taking a sack. You have to be very careful as you're feeling pressure to throw the ball just to throw the ball. If you feel like you're not going to be able to make a play and the defense got you, just give up on that play and get ready for the next down. And they bring him down for a sack on the play. This is the eighth play of this drive. Oklahoma is up seven. Throws it to the outside. Oh, what an interception. 
Not only did he demonstrate his leaping ability, but he also has the hands to be able to pull the ball in. Great job. First and 10, ball on the 33-yard line. With the pass, incomplete. Carlisle was the intended receiver on the play. That makes it second and 10. Mike Wood, Mike Wood. Larry, Larry. He's up. 18, yes. Quick out to his receiver. Tackle at the 44. Right, intercepted. Here he goes to the 20, to the 10, and a huge touchdown play. How about the play by the defender? That was a great interception and an even better effort to bring the ball back for a touchdown. Converts the extra point. They line up to kick this one away. Sends it sailing downfield. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. It's going to be interesting now to see if this quarterback can put that last throw behind him. This quarterback needs to be a little bit more careful because this defense is excellent on capitalizing off of mistakes. Throws incomplete, intended for his wideouts. You know, he had his receiver open. He just put too much on that football. He's got to find a little bit more touch next time. From their own 25-yard line, second down. Defensive coordinator anticipating this five-wide set, and he comes in with his dime package. Quick strike to the receiver. Brought down at about the 33-yard line. Quarterback all by himself in the backfield with five wideouts. He sails it long. And a great catch downfield. Touchdown, Fighting Irish. Tough time defending that one. Well, Brad, one of the things with this defense is you leave yourself vulnerable one-on-one -on -one coverage. Great throw by the quarterback and great speed by the receiver. It makes for an easy completion when you've got a guy who's that wide open. And he hits the PAT. It was a quick three-play, 75-yard drive, and they put up seven points. You know, you always prepare your offense to think that we're going to have some success. These guys got to be coming over the sidelines after touchdown, after touchdown, saying, man, I, I didn't expect it to be this easy. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Yeah, it's been kind of a nightmare for this offensive line. Good pass rush by these guys today. Well, sacks only tell one part of the story. The scoreboard tells the most important part. Well, the guys are chomping at the bit down there, waiting for the game to start back up. Oklahoma is up by a touchdown. Slings it. He's tackled right around the 24-yard line. They get a one-yard loss on that one. They really just didn't have any room to work on that play. The defense just suffocated them there. He's going to try and scramble, and they get the sack. Absolutely perfect call by the defensive coordinator. He brought just the right amount of pressure from the right direction, and it seemed to confuse the offense. Hey, 
Third and 15 coming up. Ball in their own 20. And he hits him hard at the 12. You can't take sacks like that as a quarterback. He just can't. If you can't find a receiver, get out of the pocket and throw the ball away. A great game so far, and it looks like it'll be decided in the fourth. 2013 Sooner. We're just about set to start action here again in the fourth quarter. Barnett to punt. He really got a hold of that one. Brown fields at the 44, and he's tackled at midfield. Return for a gain of six yards. Things aren't tied, but they might as well be. It's this drive that could really dictate the tone for the last quarter. He steps out at the 46-yard line. Call it a gain of four yards. That makes it second and six. Here we go, here we go. There we go, Mike 20, Mike 20, Mike 20. Check, 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 check. He gets out to about the 37-yard line. Gets to about the 37-yard line. Immediately pushed out. That's good for five yards. That's good enough for another First down. Let's go, let's go. Check out. Check 26, check 26. He's out of bounds around the 19-yard line. It's second down, six yards to go. Ball on the 19. Might have been some early movement up front. Ball start, offense. It's so tough to move the ball forward. Even a five-yard setback down. can do damage to a drive. Nice run up the middle. McDaniel gets about four yards on the play. Third down. Check three, check three, check three. Come on, baby. Let's see what you got. Gets it. He's in space. Knocked out of bounds at the 15. Call it a gain of five yards. That'll make it it's fourth down, and the offense is getting set to go for it. And this is what power football is all about, folks. Quick release, tight end, incomplete. And that was a big stop defensively. Yeah, they only needed a few yards here to keep the drive alive. Great job by the defense to shut them down. Both teams realize that when the ball is snapped, we're one play away from a very different ball game. Oklahoma is up a score. Give to the tailback. They'll bring him down around the 17-yard line. 
That's good for a gain of two yards. That makes it second and eight. There's a strike complete. And they push him out at about the 25-yard line. That's good for a gain of eight yards. That makes it first and ten. Throws and it's incomplete. This wide receiver is very frustrated. You can tell by his body language. He did everything he needed to do to get open to be able to make a big play. The quarterback just didn't put the ball in the money. Second down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 25. And he throws it away. Good job here by the defense. If you let this quarterback set and throw, he'll kill you all game. But they got excellent pressure on that play. Hands on it and dropped it. Barnett is the putter. Oh, excellent punt. Brought down at the 33. You know this is a real crucial time in the game. It could still go either way. Gets to around the 42. That brings up second and one. Makes it out to maybe the 43 yard line. Again with the run. He makes it to the 45 yard line. Call it a gain of two yards. That makes it second and eight. Three down, three down. Mike 20, Mike 20, Mike 20. Alert, alert, Lion, Lion. Motion. Hey, hey. Go, 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 go. He makes his way to about the 45. Five-yard line, second down. Tackled after decent pickup. Gain of six on the play. That'll bring up third and four. Throws left, the running back's got it, and they make the stop around the 35-yard line. Gain of four on the play. Fourth down. It's fourth down, and they're going to try to go for it. Three down, three down. Yeah, hey, Mike. No, no, no. Mike right here. Mike. Gets to about the 34-yard line. He's tackled right around the 34. No game. That brings up second and nine. Guy, 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 guy. Three down, three down. I got number 18. I got number 18. Challenge. Blue 19. Blue 19. Blue 19. Blue 19. Three. He gets rid of this one.
Third down, and they need to get it to the 24. Quick throw, and he's taken down right around the 28-yard line. Six yards. That brings up fourth and three. Keep it up, defense. Keep it up, guys. The quarterback in the gun with five receivers. Fires quickly, and he's got his man. He's taken down around the 20-yard line. They'll line up with five wide receivers. Fires it out. What a play, and that is first and goal. The offense going to try to open this field up coming out in a five wide set and the defense counters with their dime look. Fires quick out to the receiver and he can't make the grab. The defense backed up into their own end zone. It's third and goal from the one. He's flushed and they got it. I think that one's on the offensive line. They've got to do a better job of holding their blocks, or else this quarterback's going to be pulling turf out of his face mask all game. Here we go from the seven. It's fourth down. Less than three minutes in the game. Complete touchdown. So it's the running back who shows off his hands on the touchdown. It's such a bonus to have a back who can contribute to the passing game. They rolled the dice and went for it on fourth. And I'm sure they're happy with the result. We'll be tied with the extra point. And he adds the extra point. A long 17-play, 68-yard drive, and they add seven points to the scoreboard. Brad, I thought that was a textbook throw. I thought they did a really good job of showing balance, mixing the play calling with the run and the pass. Just an overall well-executed touchdown drive. This is when things get a little prickly. You need your playmakers to really come through here. Down he goes around the 37 yard line. Number 28 with the tackle, the 37 yard line. First down. No chance! Mark 38! Mark 38! Mark 38! 38! Nice play across the middle. Tackle at the 35. But we're on the tackle at the 35 yard line. First down. Gains his way to the 26-yard line. Gain of nine on the play. That brings up second hey, and nine. Let's go. Kick it up, D. 38 to Mike. Let's go. That's a great tackle at the 25. That's good for a gain of one yard. That makes it first and ten. Just over two minutes in the game. Nice run there. That's a gain of four on the play. That makes it second and six. Oh, you got deep? He fights forwards about the 19. That's a gain of two on the play. They're about four yards away here on third down. Yeah. 
Trying to set up a little screen, gets it to his tailback. Just a tremendous play there late in the fourth quarter in a tie football game. And now it all comes down to the final seconds or overtime. He gets it up, and it's long enough. That is a big miss at this stage of the game. This offense still has enough time to make a trip down the field and potentially win the game. Late in the fourth quarter now, game is tied. Which coach can outcoach the other? It's a chess match right now. Sets up a screen. Tailback's got it. He's to the 40. Brought down at the 46. six-yard line. Second down. He wants it all going long. That close to being intercepted. A little over a minute in the game. And here's a quick throw. Great catch, and he's out of bounds. That's good enough for another Notre Dame first down. So the referee initially calls it a catch, but we'll have a chance to take a second look at it and determine if he really was in bounds when he caught the ball. Well, the side judge was standing right there, so I'd be surprised if he missed that call. After review of the play, the ruling on the field is reversed. So after review, they decide that this call should be reversed. Check, check, switch, switch. Lion, lion. Slam, 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 slam. Newsom awaits the snap. Johnson takes it to 14. They'll bring him down at the 26. Here we are late in the fourth quarter, and this is what this game has come down to. Every possession is going to count, and this could be the one right here. Fires quickly to the tight end. He's tackled around the 33-yard line. A gain of seven yards. That will bring up second and three. Switch, switch, switch. with room to work. He's pushed out of bounds. Right around the 42-yard line. First down. First and 10. Ball on their own 42. They'll have one more chance for the end zone. Great pressure on the quarterback forced that incompletion. Boy, they really pounded him on that throw. Off. Throws incomplete, intended for his wideouts. That's the end of the fourth quarter, and we are headed to overtime. And we're back ready now for overtime. Easy, easy, easy. Big dog. 
They'll knock him down for a loss. The object was to sell the pass and then sneak by the defensive line with the run. The problem here was that the quarterback didn't sell the pass very well. And Herbie, we got a guy down after that play. Second and 14. Ball on the 29-yard line. And he carries the ball for a nice game. Call it a gain of six yards. That'll bring up third and eight. It incomplete. One of the screen. So the kicker will come out and try to build a three-point cushion here in overtime. The kick is away. It's long enough. No good. He hooked it right. Let's check in with Reese Davis in the studio. The Tigers roll into today's game ranked number six in the nation. This game was tighter than spandex on a sumo wrestler. The Tigers get it done by two. Tie game 2020 in this one. From the 25 yard line, it's first down. They tried to get a head start there. False start, offense. Little stumbles like these can kill your offensive progress. Still first down. is out to the tailback on the screen. He gets hit out of bounds at the 22. So they pick up quite a few yards on that play, Kirk. Well, that was an excellent route, and he did a great job of holding on to the football. Now he tries to buy some time. Slides down to the ground. So it's third down now, and they're going to need about four. He scrambled, and he can't get away from the pressure. No game. That makes it fourth and four. This is it, folks. If this is good, the game is over. If he misses, we've got another overtime. Kicks away, and they tack on three points. The Sooners, I'm sure, are secure in the knowledge that despite this setback today, they still have one of the best players in the country. Well, this is a devastating loss, but it's one that they're going to have to put behind them. And as you said, they still have one of the best players in the country. They don't need to deviate their plan. Get back to really what they know, and that's getting the ball to their star player. And next week, I'm sure they'll be fine. That does it for this edition of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk Herbstreit, I'm Brad Nessler saying so long.